The streets are the most visible public space that any city has. Successful cities, they have commercial centers that work, but they also have networks of places and pathways that people can walk to. But when you look at how the streets are designed, you can tell that they were designed for cars and not for people. Dito ay salang ang daanan ng mga tao, ay salang ang daanan ng mga sasakyan. Ang mahirap dito, masigip yung daanan. Natatawad ka kapag dumaan ka na baka masagas ang ka. Noong madilim, walang naglalakad dyan. Natatakot. Safety was a problem. Lighting was an issue, but also the visibility of, of the businesses, access to the businesses, the surface of the sidewalks, and the fact that drivers weren't following the rules. The Asian Development Bank, with funding from the Urban Climate Change and Resilience Trust Fund, worked in partnership with the municipalities of El Nido and Coron in Palawan, among the busiest travel destinations in the Philippines on gender-inclusive urban governance and urban planning. The tactical urbanism exercise was designed to complement and further build on knowledge gained uh, from training on gender-inclusive urban planning and governance, which we have provided under this UCCRTF-funded project. This project-supported initiative allowed us to engage with local communities and apply quick, creative and inexpensive gender-responsive solutions for urban spaces. Sa kalsada, napansin namin na gumanda kasi may pinto na napapansin yung mga ham, napapansin na may pinto na nakaagad. Kahit madilim, napapansin. Safe para sa anak ko, lalo na ako may anak ako na nag-aaral. Safe ka na pagdating ng gabi, pwede ka nang maglakad. Para mawala na rin yung takot ng mga dumadaan dito at makita nila na mayroong magagandang mga pictures na nakalagay. Yung skwelahan dito, siyempre matutuwa yung mga bata pag nakita nila na mayroong mga nakalagay ng mga gandang mga litrato dyan na gawa ng ating mga artists. UCCRTF aims to build the resilience of at least 2 million people in selected ADB developing member countries to the adverse impacts of climate change. Achieving systemic resilience requires interventions across scales and sectors. Working at the community level ensures that poor and vulnerable residents have a voice in the city's decision-making process. Engaging local stakeholders fosters stronger ownership and builds capacity for community action. Ang pagbabago naman simple nagsimula sa atin sa mga tao sa community. Proud na proud ako lalo na ako ang nagpintura niya ni eh. kahit na sobrang pagod na. Ando pa rin masaya ka kasi nakikita mo ikaw gumawa eh. Nakita mo yung resulta na maganda pala. Nakita po natin kung paano po uh, magkaisa yung mga tao at nagtutulungan. Yun po yung pinakaimportante at nagtatrabaho po sila ng libre. Wala pong kapalit. Kaya rin po pala namin gawin to eh, na magbayanihan kami. Pwede palang magbayanihan, magkasama-sama kami para ano po, ikagaganda ng aming barangay. Doon ko nakita yung participation ng bawat organization, yung women, mga senior, at uh, yung ibang nagbo-volunteer. Dahil sa initiative na to ng ADB, maaari na naming ipagpatuloy pa ito, hindi lamang dito sa part na to, kundi sa ibang parte pa ng barangay na ito na pwede naming ituloy. Mula sa aming puso, thank you very much po sa inyo. Maraming salamat.